Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday. So I am so excited to get back into doing these weekly vlogs because I feel like they're gonna be super helpful. Because for one, I feel like it's helpful to see what other people are eating. I feel like it's helpful to see what and how other people are working out. And especially now that I'm really getting back into fasting because fasting is so amazing for your body. If y'all don't know about fasting, then go research it. It's amazing um, but I hope that this is going to be helpful and motivational and inspirational and hopefully we can all help each other stay motivated and it doesn't even matter if you're on keto or it doesn't matter if you don't fast it doesn't matter if you don't intermittent fast it doesn't even matter we are all on our own health journey and we are all going to kill it our own way yes I am actually here at the mountain I am going to start this day off right and I am going to go for a hike even though I am getting a later start than what I really wanted to because it's already like 845 and it's 95 degrees so I'm probably only going to hike up this thing twice which before it got hot I was up to hiking this thing five times which this thing is a beast I feel like all exercises are not created equal so um it just depends on what you're doing and I have a feeling this thing is going to kick my butt royally because I haven't done it since like I said since it got hot but um, either way I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna kill it as much as I possibly can <laughs> so um, I am on day two of my prolonged fast I started on Sunday night at 6 o'clock in the evening so it is like I said it's 8 45 on Tuesday so I'm actually a day and a half into my fast I want to go probably around 48 hours I may go longer if I feel good all I know is yesterday I was feeling a little hungry I don't know what my deal was last week when I prolonged fast I actually felt better than what I did this week not that I felt bad I still felt really good but yesterday Monday I kept feeling like hungry and I don't understand why because um you know like I said the first last week when I fasted Monday I felt amazing I think I got hungry maybe twice and then it went away shortly after that and yesterday I kept getting hungry I mean it would go away shortly after I got hungry but it kept coming back and I'm like girl uh-uh you ain't hungry that is your head but my stomach actually did growl a couple of times and I told my stomach that too I was like nope you're not hungry either we aren't going there yet so anywho that's kind of how I'm doing on my fast but today I woke up and I felt perfect I had energy I wasn't hungry I have my um electrolyte water with me and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to stay here too long because at um at Ross a while back I actually bought one of those hiking packs that go on your back and then you have the little straw and so I bought one of those but I'm I know I'm not going to be out here long enough to even really worry about pulling that thing out so I just brought this this is 24 ounces of water and I did put a fourth a teaspoon of Himalayan salt and an eighth a teaspoon of no salt which is basically pure potassium so that way I keep my electrolytes up and this is pretty much what I drink when I prolong fast anyway because you know I really feel like keeping your electrolytes up is the key to feeling good while you're fasting but that is what I'm going to be drinking while we're up there let's go get this day started because I am just feeling in a mood and I can't wait until tomorrow when I can have a bang because I don't drink bang when I am fasting so that is the one thing that I miss when I fast because especially when I exercise is a bang <laughs> but let's go kill this mountain and pray that the mountain doesn't kill me oh yeah you can do this too Let's do this. So that is a lot steeper than what it looks. But we're going to kill it. As long as I don't slip and fall on my butt first. Oh. We did it. Oh look, you see the lizard? That's the perks of living in Arizona. You can see all kinds of little creatures. Where'd he go? Yeah, buddy. Sitting on my butt. Woo! 
who loves that song, Senorita? Call me Senorita. I love that song. There's something about that song I love. I wanted to do that mountain two times, but it is just too hot. As you can tell, my face is red and it is 95 degrees out still, but it is hot. Um, and that kicked my butt. I'm pretty sure the heat had a little bit to do with it and then just the fact that I haven't done it since it's been so hot. Different exercises kick your butt in a different way. So, firm believer of that. <laughs> I feel like when it comes to exercise, it's just like when you eat intuitively and it's just like when you fast, you really have to listen to your body and I feel like that is the truth when it comes to exercise as well. Listen to your body because your body knows what it's doing. Um, you know, the body can tell you whether or not you, what you're doing is right for it or not. But I'm going to head home. I'm going to take a shower. I have lots of things that I got to do before I head out to Missouri. So if you guys didn't see my post, I am going back to Missouri to go visit my family. My grandpa, my 91 year old grandpa got diagnosed with stage four cancer. So it started in his colon and moved to his liver and they did find a little spot on his lung. So I am going to go back and visit him. Um, I did have one person ask me, hey, are you going to try and get him on keto? Uh, no, not really. My grandpa's 91 years old. He's really set in his ways. He even keeps telling everybody, he's like, I know where I'm going, you know, and like I said, he's 91, you know, you really just need to let him live his life and let him be happy because I think that's going to be the best thing for him right now. Let's go home, take a shower and move on with our day. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. It is 6.12. I'm not gonna end my fast yet because I'm really not hungry yet. I don't need to end my fast. So um, if anything, it's head hunger because I made this bad boy for the fam. And definitely, definitely stay tuned for that because I will be bringing you that recipe. It's called Where's the Crust Pizza? And um, Celine loved that so much. She had two pieces. Everything that you see gone was from her and the boys weren't hungry yet, so. So like I've said before, if she likes it, that is saying a lot. She actually said it tastes a lot like lasagna. So you know what I think I'm gonna do next time? Well, you know what, it's okay. I'll tell you when I uh, post the recipe. I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the video when I um, post the recipe. But anywho, definitely stay tuned for that bad boy because Obviously, I haven't tasted it yet, but mama's gonna save her a piece. <laughs> so instead, I think I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and enjoy that and call it a night and just relax. All right, so I am just drinking this plain and I personally like this tea, it is delicious. And I think I forgot to tell you guys this morning, I did have a cup of coffee, but I didn't put anything in it. I drink it black. And that's all I had today. The black coffee, this tea, and then electrolyte water. And again, I'm gonna extend that fast until 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll definitely break my fast tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. So I am gonna break my fast because I'm getting hungry. I look like a hot mess because, you know, it's still morning and um, I've got to clean and do stuff around the house and then I'll worry about taking a shower and looking like a actual human being. But for now, let me show you what I'm gonna break my fast with. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm going to break my fast with. I'm going to use some of this unsweetened chocolate almond breeze almond milk. And this is the macros for that. And then I'm also going to put in one scoop of this preferred elements keto collagen. I prefer the chocolate. I've had the vanilla as well. Chocolate is my favorite. Vanilla's good too though. Um, if you want to try this, I will have a link down below for that. And I'm just going to shake it up in my little shaker. So I'm going to use one cup of that, one scoop of that, and shake that up. And that's going to be my first meal. This stuff's so good. Anyway, again, I'll have that link down below if you want to try it. So if you guys are wondering, I did lose five pounds. I just weighed myself. And I'll probably gain like a couple pounds of that back because of water weight and all that stuff, but I'm down with that, y'all. Like seriously, the way that it makes me feel, I'm good, I'm good. I am going to go enjoy this, and then in a little while, I'm probably gonna make myself some eggs. 
and maybe some cheese. We'll see. I don't know, but I'll bring y'all along for my full day of eating. So Oscar and I were debating on if we were going to go out to eat tonight or tomorrow night. So if we go out to eat tonight, then I'll definitely take y'all along with me. But either way, I'll take you along with me and show you what I'm going to eat for the day. And then I really wanted to go to the gym. I don't know if that's going to happen if we go out to eat and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Today's like up in the air. So we'll have to see. If I don't go to the gym, then I'm definitely going to work out here at the house. I'm going to do something. Also, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been joining me on this fasting journey because I feel like it's so much easier knowing that you have support and knowing that you have people that are doing this with you. And thank you for everybody that's been rooting me on because I feel like that makes it easier and it keeps you motivated to stay strong. And just knowing that we all have each other's backs and knowing that we are gonna do this together and we are just motivating each other, inspiring each other, and we're doing it together. So I feel like you can't get any better than that. So thank you so much for every single one of you guys that have been just out there rocking it and killing it with me. All right, y'all, so it is about 11 o'clock. It's about an hour after I had that collagen shake and I am going to enjoy this right here. This was in my last meal prep video, so if you didn't see it, I will link it up above, up there somewhere. And um, this is so good. It is a little spicy, but it is green chili verde stew. Again, y'all can seriously judge me on how I say that. I'm down, I'm cool. But I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. How delicious does that look? Woo! I think my eyeballs were bigger than my belly because I could only eat a little less than three-fourths of that and I'm gonna have to stop because I am full. So that is the biggest thing to, I feel like weight loss as well, is stopping when you're content. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't do that this time. I stopped when I was full, but I really try to listen to my body and stop when I'm content and I am a little over content, so I am definitely stopping. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. I have been dreaming about tasting you for 24 hours. All right, so my son is gonna be home here shortly. I am actually going to head to the gym here shortly after the Roomba is done, I think. Um, but this is really good. It's the birthday cake bash. And it kind of tastes like frosting a little bit. Yeah, it kind of tastes like frosting. I don't know, I love frosting, so I think it tastes really good. It's not my favorite, but I really like it. I will definitely buy this again. I actually like it a lot. Yeah, that's really good. We are headed off to the gym. It is about almost one o'clock and it is hot as heck. It is 111 degrees outside. I'm not even gonna lie, I was not feeling going to the gym right about now, but there's lots of things that I wanna do today, so it's now or never, to be honest with you. So it's one of those things that it's not always easy, but it's worth it. It's worth it once you do it and you get out there and you do it. It's worth it and let me just tell you that any exercise is better than no exercise so if you feel like not going to the gym go anyway because I promise you once you get there and once you get into the parking lot you're gonna be like girl you are killing it and I'm glad you made that decision you may not be feeling it when you are getting in the car on your way there but once you are there it is going to be a whole other story so let's just get in the gym and kill it together so Let's do this. When you feel the world is over When you say you're feeling lonely If you ever need a shoulder You know where to find me Stop chasing
that was one hell of a workout. You fitness, you kicked my freaking butt today. I am sweaty, I am hot, my legs are like jello. But I feel like the eye of the tiger, baby. So I'm gonna go home and take a shower. So that's exactly what I mean about if you don't feel like going to the gym, just drive your butt there and you will get motivated, you guys. Cause I, once I was there, I was rocking it. But you know what? I'm telling you, like I said, on the way here, I had issues getting my tushy out the door and in the car. But once I'm there, I'm totally fine. So whatever you do, push yourself, motivate yourself, inspire yourself and get out the door and just do it. Just do it. We got this. We are going to do this together. It is our journey to get healthy, to stay healthy, and to always be healthy. Do I want to be a fitness model? Heck no, I don't. I am 43 years old. <laughs> My goal is not to be a fitness model. My goal is not to be some superstar. My goal is to be healthy and happy and be able to tie my shoes and breathe at the same time. That is our goal in life or at least my goal in life. But right now, my short-term goal is to take a shower and not stink. Let's go home and take a shower. So let me show you the shirts that I got first. So the first one I got is this striped button up shirt and then it has this tie down at the bottom. And this was $11.99. I didn't think that was a bad deal. And it is a size medium. That's pretty much what I wear all the time. I haven't gotten into a small yet, which like I said, I'm really not worried about it because I've told y'all a million times that I'm really happy where I'm at. And when I lose the rest, I lose it. And if I don't, I don't. But I really thought that this was really cute and I think this would go really well with a pair of jeans. I have a lighter pair of jeans that I think would be really cute with this. Maybe put my darker ones, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with Then that. I picked this up as well. It's kind of like a really thin sweater type material, I guess. But um, it is super cute and I like how it's kind of big in the abdominal area because that is like my problem area. It doesn't matter how much I lose, I'm still, I'm never going to have a flat stomach ever. Like it's never going to happen again. And then at the bottom it has like this little tie and I thought that was really cute. This one was $9.99 and this is a medium as well. But I just thought that that was really cute and that's kind of the pattern on there. But I really like that and I think this would go really good with jeans as well. And I have a darker pair of jeans that I think this one would look really cute with. Then the last shirt that I got is this right here and this is perfect for winter as well here in Arizona because as you know here in Arizona we have very few super cold days so it's kind of like that mid sleeve um, kind of like the last one I just showed you but I really thought that this was super cute and this I'll probably wear with tights and I really like how it's just kind of everyday comfy looking and I love to wear black tights because they are so stinking comfortable. This was $12.99 and um, again this is a medium as well. I like the tie here too and look how cute that is. I know it's the little things that I get all excited about but I don't know. I thought that was super cute as well, so I picked that picked up. up. A pair of tennis shoes. These were 38 bucks. They are Skechers, and these are like the memory foam in there. Ooh, doggy, do they feel good? But that's kind of the pattern. I'm not really into the bright colors and all that good. I like some of them, but I don't know. I just kind of like the plain ones because it goes with everything. But then again, I don't know. With tennis shoes, I guess it really doesn't matter. They just kind of go with anything anyway. Um, then, in my opinion, when it comes to socks at Ross, you cannot beat that. $7.99, you get 10 pair. I like, I personally like black socks, and these are like pretty thick ones. 
So these are perfect for our winter months when our toesies get cold. And then I've been all into getting like at home stuff that I can do when I at work out at home at Ross because their deals at Ross are flipping amazing. I got this for only $2.99 and they're these little um, ankle and wrist weights. And it is, what is it? One pound includes two, but I thought that that was a great deal. The prices on their workout stuff, I think is just a really good deal and I feel like I can't really pass it up. Then Oscar picked this up. It is a slimming belt, um, but I'm not for sure exactly how this works. I guess it's for toning. I guess it kind of helps with your waistline and it helps. It says during exercise, the belt warms your midsection muscles to increase precipitation, burn more calories, lose weight, and sculpt your body. The, um, it says the comfortable neoprint material with Velcro closure fits most, offering extra lower back support and squeezing more out of virtually any exercise. Perfect to wear whether you're taking a leisure walk or engaging in a full body exercise routine. So, we will see how this works out. Then I just picked me up some of these little hair clips just because I like to wear these when I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to do my hair, to be honest with you. And this is what I was most excited for. So, if you have watched any of my vlogs, you've saw that Celine and I like to use these, um exercise balls what are these actually called toning balls? toning balls but um we have used these at the gym where we do squats and then we toss it to each other but i thought this was a great deal so this is a toning ball it is 12 pounds it says soft weighed ball easy to grip tough durable vinyl and yeah i would definitely agree with that it was only nine dollars and 99 cents um so, I don't know. I thought that that was a great deal, to be honest with you. And I personally like these when I am doing squats because it kind of gives you that extra weight. So, anyway, that was my Ross haul. All right, so I'm just going to do a little product review on a couple of products. The first one is this Birch Benders Pancakes and Waffle Mix. This is the keto one. It says there's five net carbs, nine grams of protein. Here are the macros on that, if you can see that. There are the ingredients. And I posted this on Instagram and I got a lot of mixed feelings about this. Some people love this, some people hated it. I personally think this is really good, especially if you're in a bind and you don't have time to yank out all of the ingredients to make your own. I still think that making homemade is better it tastes better but this is actually still really good I would buy this again especially if I'm in a pinch then the second product I want to review is this unsweetened chocolate it's by blue diamond almond breeze this has 40 calories there is the macros on that and there is the ingredients but this is really good as well. At first, when I first tried this, I didn't like it because it really didn't taste like any chocolate at all. It was very, it was just very bland. But then I started reading comments and some of y'all told me to put, add a couple drops of stevia to this. And oh my gosh, what a game changer that was when I added a couple drops of stevia. This was so good. It tasted just like chocolate milk. So highly recommend both of these products. But like any products, I really feel like you just need to try them out for yourself because everybody's taste buds are different.
All right, y'all, so it is actually Friday night and it is super late and I was editing that um, vlog video that I did last week and I was hoping to have that up to you while I was in Missouri, but once I got to Missouri, um, I kind of just went into, I'm gonna enjoy my family mode. Um, I don't get to see them very often, so I decided I wasn't going to, cause I had several videos. Um, I think I had like three videos recorded. All I needed to do was um, edit them, but I went into total, I'm gonna enjoy my family mode and I didn't edit anything and I did not upload anything. There was just the one video that I uploaded and that was my video um, about collagen. But other than that, I really didn't work on YouTube at all, which you know what, it's okay. It's okay to take a break sometimes and um, just kind of soak up your family to be honest with you. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the prayers for my grandpa. I appreciate every single one of them. I really do. So that, and that comes from the bottom of my heart. Like, I love my grandpa more than anything. So I just thank you guys so much. So I don't know who's with me this next week, but I am definitely going to be fasting because I ate the dirtiest keto you could possibly ever eat. And I overate probably uh, like every day. So like most people, when you're out of town and you're hanging out with your family, a lot of that is revolved around food. <laughs> so let me just say, I feel like a fatty, a fatty. I feel like my face is poofy. Um, but you guys, seriously, I've told you guys many times, no fret. It isn't a big deal. I am going to start my fast on Sunday. That's why I'm gonna make sure I get this video out to you guys Saturday morning because that very next day, that Sunday, I'm gonna start a fast at 5 p.m. I'm gonna go for at least 48 hours, probably even longer than that, maybe even 72. I'm just gonna go as long as I can because I need to reset my body after that last week. So definitely gonna do that. But you know, guys, seriously, always remember, don't beat yourself up if you eat dirty keto. Don't beat yourself up if you eat too much. Don't beat yourself up if you go and eat the standard American diet or whatever, it doesn't matter. A health journey is a health journey, it's a lifestyle change. Things are gonna happen, you know, we all have slip ups, whatever. Is The biggest thing is, is just getting back up, just standing back up on your feet, picking yourself up, brushing yourself off, and moving about your business because it's gonna happen. I mean, it happens to the most of us. Another thing too is, again, don't compare yourself to other people just because Joe Blow lost five pounds in a week and was able to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner on keto and you can only lose one, who freaking cares about Joe Blow? Just just do you, just worry about you. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Just like about three weeks ago, this is a true story, I had a guy comment saying that he was gonna unsubscribe because I didn't post updates and progress pictures and stuff all the time like I did in the beginning. Well, you know, here's the thing. I'm not that worried about it, to be honest with you. I don't pro post progress pics and stuff like that like I did in the beginning, just because, you know, if you don't see a big difference, that could get frustrating for me, you know, just like I don't weigh myself that often anymore, because that could get frustrating for me. So I have to do what's best for me, to be honest with you. And to be honest with you, if I feel comfortable with who I am, I'm not going to worry about it. I am very comfortable with the way that I look. Do I need to lose more weight? Yes, I do. But if it's super slow, I'm not gonna worry about it. If I go into a stall, I'm not gonna worry about it. My biggest thing is maintaining my weight. Again, like I said, I do wanna continue to lose weight, but at the rate that I lose it, I don't care. I'm very comfortable with where I'm at. I mean, I'm in a size six jeans, I'm in a medium size shirt. And again, for only being 4'11", yeah, is that still a little bit overweight? Of course it is, whatever, I don't care. Um, compared to what I was, I feel amazing. I feel better than what I did when I was in my 30s. I feel better what I did when I was in my late 20s. I'm not doing this to be a supermodel. I'm not doing this to have the flattest stomach. I'm not doing this to be ripped. I'm doing this to be healthy. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because I want to feel good. And guess what? I feel good. So do it for you and don't give a crap about what anybody else thinks. I just wanted to make sure that I brought that up because 
don't care about what anybody else thinks. As long as you feel good and comfortable in your own skin, that's what matters. So again, I'm going to start the fast on Sunday at 5 p.m. You can start it whenever it's convenient for you, but I'm going to start it then for around 48 to 72 hours. And if I feel good, I may go longer. It all just depends on how I feel. Then if you guys saw my post, I am going to be doing week-long vlogs again. So I'll be doing it probably like four days a week because the three days that I work, it's not even worth it for me to do it because I do because I work 12 hour shifts but um, the only reason I really stopped doing those is when my daughter got bit by the brown recluse and we were going through all that drama and it was just all that stuff that we had going on with my daughter was super stressful and I really just kind of stopped but I am bringing those back but for now I think that's all I have for you guys if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel and if you subscribe don't forget to tap that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you like this video if you could do me a favor and smash that like button that will get my videos out there and I just want to say thank you so much to every single one of you guys I appreciate every single one of you and don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday and I will talk to you in my next video Bye. On my own. But I don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when